How's it going guys? Stay Spinner today we're back for a brand new video and today we're going to be back with another review. Now today we're going to review and as you can see the first icon on the channel, Filippo Inzaghi or Pippo as he's known. Now the reason I decided to pick an icon is because this guy looks like the worst striking option that you can pick. Now I know a lot of people are probably going to look at those card stats and think are you crazy why are you using this card? Now there's one main reason behind this. That I'm using it. I decided to pick it up now. 330k, and that's a lot of coins. Um, he, he does. It's kind of a bit weird why I decided to buy him. I was looking at him on the market for absolutely ages. Had the coins that I'd buy him, but then someone was like, "Why don't you just review him?" I'm like, "Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's go." So coming to some of the key stats of these: five eleven, medium low, right footed, three star weak foot, three star skill, seven games, eleven goals, yet six owners. He is tradable, obviously. I'd love to have him untradable, but yeah. On to the attributes now. Um, he is kind of average when you look at the attributes for an icon. It's like his pace is 74, so 76 is, uh, acceleration, 70 sprint speed, 86 shooting. The big thing there is 97 attack position. Now, now you will see that in some of the goals that that's very, very apparent. That that's something that he's absolutely really, really good at as being in the right position. Finishing 87, 84 shot power, 82 long shot, 84 volleys, 84 penalties. Um, 75 short pass, 74 curve, I guess the best of us, and 93 reactions. Now, I didn't even know he had that, but that's absolutely class. 83 ball control, 85 composure. Something that he does have in game is dribbling, I can't really like. 91 head and accuracy, no, that is, whoa, that's brilliant. And 84 jumping. Now, something that brings down his physical quite a bit is his stamina and strength. But there are two things you don't even realise in game from him. But anyways, on to the goals. Alright, guys, here we are inside the goals. Now, you see there, Inzaghi absolutely wrecks the defender. This is the dribbling I was talking about. Brilliant outside the foot goal. One thing I have to say about him, there's two cons to with this card. The price and the strength. I don't know what's with the like, stats on the card. It really doesn't reflect in-game. Maybe icons are meant to perform better. There, I showed a sweaty goal, but that was the 90th position I just wanted to show, just an example. But, I think it's weird. Icons must perform better than other cards, because his card is actually class in game now i don't honestly think it's worth 330k in my opinion if it ever goes to maybe 260 to 250 i would buy it i would rather go with his 87 card or maybe an inform that probably would be better than him but at the time i obviously wanted to try him i do have to say there is a lot of pros about him his dribbling his shooting his head and accuracy everything about him he always knows where to be in the right position because of his attack positioning but I would kind of have to say he gets maybe a 8.5 out of me. He is a bit better than Jinyak just before, just because of his pace and just how quick he is. It's an 8.5. The cons would have to be his price and strength. You know I like tall. Not for every fast, like, strong strikers that are able to win a header to a fast striker. That's why I like him and he just doesn't have that. So maybe he doesn't suit my style of play. Maybe he does to some other people's. Now... I did want to say the gold records that I've seen in these cards have been unbelievable on the market. There's a header. I do have two. I have another header with them, but I keep on crashing my Sony Vegas, so I couldn't actually throw it into the video, unfortunately. But I do think if you're a if you're a favorite of like legends, especially Italian legends, if you're a fan of Milan because he was a legend for them, you should go pick him up if you have the coins. But I wouldn't if you're a casual player that would actually miss the coins quite a bit because he's not worth 330k. If you have it to spare, basically go buy him but if you don't then don't go buy him obviously go look for a cheaper cent cheaper striker like you probably buy an antonio or someone else in some other league that has basically better stats than him on card but he plays so well in game it's actually very 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 weird i don't really know what it is maybe it's icons are meant to be better than other players but anyways that's where i'm gonna end the video so if you did enjoy please hit the like button hit the subscribe button i'll see you next one. peace